Hey GBIY here. Let's talk about cutting PVC pipe. There's a lot of information and a lot of misinformation on the internet about this subject. Here's the deal. There is not one method that's best to do it. You got to take into account what you're doing, what size pipe you're cutting, what type of pipe you're cutting, what tools you have available. So let me show you my three ways. Cutting PVC with power tools is a dangerous proposition. I've cut a lot of PVC on table saws. I've cut a lot of PVC on miter saws and everything goes fine until that one instance when the PVC pipe literally explodes. Fragments, shards go everywhere. I have learned my lesson. <laughs> I'm going to choose not to do that. So what I'm going to do instead is demonstrate a couple methods that are much safer. Let's get started. Okay, the first tool for the job is a PVC cutter, a tool made for just this purpose. It's best used on smaller pipe. These things are sized for different sizes of pipe. Um, they're really effective. They'll cut straight and true unless you're up against a joint doing a rework on, on an old system. Um, and they're as easy as this. And that's how easy it is. Things work great up to a size. I think about two inches maybe is the largest I've seen. So there you go. That's tool number one. Completely safe, inexpensive, but don't buy the cheapest one. Get something a little bit better. Spend a few extra dollars up front on these things because the cheap ones will last like three minutes. Tool number two. Second tool for the job is a handsaw. I prefer a hacksaw, but you can also use a wood saw, tall Tennessean. Enough said. This, like I say, is, is my preferred choice, and the finer the blade, the better. Now, the fastest, bestest way I've seen to cut larger pipe, three to four inches, that kind of thing, is with a reciprocating saw. I like the battery-powered ones for this. Um, you want to use the finest blade you can find. This is an Irwin 18 tooth blade. <clears throat> it's eight inches long. So you got to be careful with the reciprocating saw if you're cutting eight inch pipe. You'll have to cut a ring around it as opposed to just slicing straight through it. So like I say, this is very effective, very quick, makes a fairly clean cut. It will need dressing after the cut. It's not like the squeezy cut that we used previously. Let me show you how this works. This is my preferred method on anything two to three inches and above, like butter. There you go, Paget's quick tip number four, cutting PVC pipe. Listen, again, let me reiterate, don't use a miter saw or a table saw. People turn the blades around backwards. I've, I've seen all this stuff. I've done most of it. Use the right tool for the job, man. Patty G, thanks for watching. See you next time.